Here I am at the top of Plumstone Mountain and I've got one of the best geography classrooms in the whole of Wales, laid out in a full circle view. Welcome to the Physical Geographer, where today I'm doing a full 360 degree breakdown of Pembrokeshire, so let's get started. Looking out towards St David's Head, you can actually see time written in the rocks. The headland is built from some of the oldest rocks in Wales, hard, igneous intrusions that resist erosion. Notice the horizontal step terraces, those mark former sea levels. Over thousands of years, global sea level has risen and fallen. Sometimes because of eustatic change, that's ice sheets melting and refreezing worldwide. And sometimes because of isostatic change, which is the land itself rebounding after the ice melted. Pembrokeshire's coastline records both. Now swing north to the Preseli Hills, famous for providing bluestones to Stonehenge, but they're also a glacial landscape. Up there you'll find corries, amphitheatre-shaped hollows carved by small glaciers, and evidence of frost shattering breaking rock into angular blocks. In the valleys, you've got classic subglacial meltwater channels, huge over-deepened valleys carved under the ice during the last glaciation. They're far bigger than the rivers flowing through them today, which gives the game away. Turning east and you'll see the estuary, the hidden waterway. It's a rear or drowned river valley, flooded by rising seas after the last ice age. That's why oil refineries and docks can sit so far inland. The drowned valley gives deep water access right into the middle of the county. Looking south-southwest, Pembrokeshire is a patchwork of coastal types. In places like Barrafundal, you'll find sweeping sandy bays backed by dunes, formed as wind blows dry sand inland. Further along, you get stacks and arches, like the Green Bridge of Wales, limestone sculpted by relentless wave attack. Some stretches of coast are concordant where the geology runs parallel to the sea, producing long straight cliffs. Others are discordant with mixed rock types at right angles to the coast, creating headlands and bays. And don't forget what you're standing on. Much of North Pembrokeshire is strewn with glacial till, the unsorted jumble of clay, pebbles and boulders left behind as the ice retreated. It's messy, but it tells the story of how completely this landscape was shaped by ice. So from one spot, Plumstone Mountain, where I am today, you can read an entire textbook of physical geography, ancient rocks, glacial valleys, drowned estuaries, shifting coasts, and ever-changing sea levels. Pembrokeshire isn't just beautiful, it's a living record of the forces that built Britain. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this journey around the horizon, please like and subscribe so I can keep sharing more geography with you.